The market sinks toward our 37 to 3800 landing zone as expected. Can the bulls save the day? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in last week's YouTube video, we talked about the market moving down toward that 37 to 3800 area, and that's exactly what we saw as on Monday, the market continued to fall and the SPX dropped to the 3800 area. Now we're seeing a small bounce, but I'm not quite sure the bears are done yet. We should see a reversal from the bulls soon. The question is, will they? I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, with us moving close to the support area, we should be looking for the bulls. So let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And we saw the move down today break the low from last week to give us a new move down. We did have a little bit of a bounce here that could be considered a wave four. So we have a couple different scenarios that we're looking at, and we'll break them down here for you. So we should be at a point where we're looking for the bulls to step in and start to find support and get a reversal and start to push it back higher. And the reason for that is if you look on the one hour MACD, okay, we're making a new low actually right now on the market as we speak, and you can see that the one hour MACD has very good positive divergence on this new low. So we have strong positive divergence uh, on this new low that suggests that a bottom is close, maybe not in, but close. Okay, on the daily chart, we have a couple of what we call bottoming signals, which are the CM Williams VIX fix. We had those come in over the last couple of days with these sell-offs that tell you that a bigger bounce should be coming as well. And then of course we have our Elliott wave that we're gonna go through now and break down the scenarios on. So. Go back to the hourly chart here, and what we're looking at is we have the potential for one, two, three, and that bounce up overnight being four, and this move down being five toward the 3788 area, which would complete uh, five waves down, and we would look for a bounce at that point in wave C toward the 4300 area and a pretty strong rally. So that's what we're looking for in the first scenario that wave four is in. We got wave five, and then we're starting to rally up in wave C. For that to play out, we'd want to see a reversal, and we want to see that reversal take out the 39.28 area. And quite frankly, it's going to be a little bit lower because they did just break the low, but 39.28 is what it was up to the 39.59.50 area. So if they can push past 39.59, then we should be well on our way toward 4,300 at that point. But if they stay under 3928, pressure remains down. So the first scenario, as I mentioned, is that we're in wave five down. We're looking for a reversal um, as low as 3700. The, the, the support is all the way down to 3700. They can extend this a little bit, but I, I don't see them getting all the way to 3700. But that's what we're looking for in the first scenario is wave five to bottom, a strong reversal up through the um, 3928 and ultimately the 3959 area. The second scenario is that we got wave one down, wave two up, we've got wave three continuing on down here, then we'd look for a wave four bounce up toward that 3928 area. Again, that's gonna be a little bit lower as they are pushing down here in the after hours, but that 3928 area, and then we'd have a wave five down toward the uh, 3750 to 3700 area from there. So those are the two tra uh, counts we're tracking right now. We're looking to see this wave five either end or this wave three would move down, okay, wherever this bottoms, and then this wave five would move down a little lower toward that 3750 to 3700 range. So um, pushing down in the overnights as we speak, as it stands right now, the new target would be like 3925, 3924 area based on the low, but they're continuing to push. So that number is going to change by morning. But if they can push back over that 39.24 and then ultimately now 39.56 area, that is very bullish toward the 4300 area. Over on the NASDAQ, okay, we're looking at the same time of setups. This could be our wave five down here, and that wave five would target the uh, 11,000 area all the way down to as low as 10.850. Uh, however, if that is not going to be wave five and wave three is just extending and then we get the wave four bounce and move down, then we could look as low as the uh, 10 600 area for the move down on the NASDAQ. So that would be scenario one where we still need a four five to the bottom. So this three would just move down to here, 
and the four would move over to the bounce, and then you'd have five down towards 10, eight to 10, 600. The other scenario is that we are in wave five right now, and wherever this bottoms, we should see a strong reversal up, and as it stands right now, that reversal on the NASDAQ, okay, so you, uh, so the pattern for the NASDAQ here on this count would be that we have one, That we have one, two, three, four, and we're in five down, and where it bottoms, we should see a pretty strong move up toward the 13,000 plus region. And on the NASDAQ, we want to see them take out the uh, 11,586 area. Okay, so back over 11,586 is very bullish on the NASDAQ up to 13,000, where we'll have to see what happens from there whether we stay bullish with a pullback that holds or we get very, very bearish with a nasty sell-off. So those are the two paths we're tracking on NASDAQ, very similar to the ES. Either we are uh, still extending in three or we're trying to finish five here and we'll know based on the rally off of the low that's struck on this move down. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there, make sure you love it, become part of our trading team before you ever spend a penny. You can cancel at any time. In our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, as well as a midday video where I go over which count we are actively tracking and where the market is in the counts right now. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing trade, which means our trades can last anywhere from a few days to a few months, so we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are looking for day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Investor Jacob Room as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that just crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trade that's so unique. It's something you kind of have to see to understand, so that's another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we would love to have you in these rooms so we can make some money together. All right, key takeaways for today. It's going to be a case of is it uh, all of the B wave or do we need a 3, 4, and 5 to complete on the B wave? For it to be all complete on the rally, they need to push it up past 39.56. And that would be a strong indication of a move toward 4,300. But anything under 39.25 is still pressure remains down. Over on the NASDAQ, same type of setup. Is it all of B completing or do we still need a 4 and 5 to complete this move down? We will know if they can push it back up through the 11.586 area. That would be bullish toward 13,000. However, anything under 11.473 pressure remains down. Guys, that is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.